How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with take two on this son of a bitch. Um, we're going to be reviewing a barley wine today, Gratitude, by East End Brewing out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, I actually just tried to do a live review of this beer outside, uh, because I, we have the worst internet in the history of mankind where I live. We have like only like four megabytes down, and I think we're half a megabyte up, so I can't do any kind of live stuff. So if I want to do live stuff... I have to go outside. So I felt like doing a live review today because it's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday to this guy. And uh, so I went outside. Uh, pro tip, iPhones don't like to get cold. Uh, it's like 20 degrees outside. So um, about, I don't know, a minute or two into the review, it kind of just kaputs to the point where I was actually cutting the wax on it when it actually gave out. So yeah, take two. Let's see what the sucker has. Uh, first things first, uh, this beer. Uh, I've had it before. Maybe not this vintage, and I think I know the vintage of this beer. Uh, but I've never reviewed it before. I always wanted to review it. I just never had really a bottle of my own to kind of uh, crack open. I've had it at Chairs. I've been to Pittsburgh before and had it down there. Um, but um, I belong to a fantasy football league. Well, three, to be exact. And I won two of them, because that's how I do. And uh, one of them is a beer league. And that beer league, the, uh, the whole, like... Um, the shtick of it is everybody has to put up fifty dollars worth of beer, uh, and it has to be brewery only beer, and it has to be like if it's IPAs less than two weeks old or whatever. So it's basically just uh, brewery only, no shelfy stuff. Within reason, you know, there's some really great breweries. Like I don't know if this hit shelves, but I know like um, you know there's a couple of breweries that are you know if someone gave you a Cantillon, you wouldn't be pissed, and I can get that off the shelf in here in PA. Anyway, uh, I won. Uh, I won the Fantasy Football League, so I'm getting five boxes of beer. This actually comes from the first box of beer I got. My buddy Jerry, uh, super good dude, um, He, uh, we actually tied on the last week of the Fantasy Football season, and I just had all the tiebreakers, so I ended up getting into the playoffs. And uh, he has a bunch of Pittsburgh connects, and he knows I like old aged beer and barley wines and stuff, so he kind of threw this one in the box. So, yeah, what does it say? Gratitude, uh, barley wine style ale. Uh, brewed by East End Brewing Company, Pittsburgh, PA. I am not going to read the back of this because, as you can see, it is long as fuck. And um, it just talks about, you know, the Pittsburgh scene, what they do, and what this beer is all about. Um, but in the back here, the reason why I think this is a 2016 vintage is that it says here, it says, think back to what Pittsburgh beer scene was like in 2004 when we opened our doors. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. And then they actually go on to say, I think, I believe it is, 12 years later, 12 years later, many of these dreams have been realized, some of their entirety. So I assume that this beer is 12 plus 2004, which would be 2016. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. Um, and uh, that'd be that. Label-wise, I like it. I dig it, but here's the thing. The the uh, gratitude, the uh, barrel-age versions and all that stuff are some of the most prettiest labels in the history of mankind. People out there follow Don't Drink Beer and stuff like that. He talks about it all the time, but... Um, it's this beautiful sheet bottle, and they kind of wrap it in this paper and kind of glue the paper together. It's one of the best labels, so do yourself a favor. Go online, check those labels out. They're one of my favorite in the industry, but yeah, it's cool. It's got a burn on it. It's got yellow wax. I don't know if the yellow wax denotes anything specific. Um, I go into all this stuff as blind as possible, so after the review's over, if it tastes like something that is outside of just basic barley wine, then we are going to uh, we'll find out then, but yeah. Let's kind of dig into this wax like we were doing just before and see what's what. So, yeah, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I am 42 years old. I know I look much, much younger than I actually uh, seem on uh, the sexiness. I know. It's hard to believe it's 40, 43 years old. But yeah, so I figured I'd do this beer. Why? Well, I wanted a barley wine. Yeah, this is this beer has time on it, so it has to be at least 2016. Um, I wanted to do a barley wine. And I wanted to do this beer, not not because, uh, you know, I think it's going to be the best beer, whatever, but, uh, you know, I have a weird kind of sensibility when it comes to some of the beers that I open and review, kind of what strikes me when I want to open stuff up, what do we have here? I mean, that looks beautiful. Uh, you know, it's got a rich kind of uh, haziness. It's not that due to water brown that I really covet it when it comes to my barley wines, but it has a nice, rich kind of brown with a mahogany hue to it. Uh, a bunch of uh, hazy particulate floating in there. Not much of a big head on it, but it's kind of like a malted malt ball color head on it. So looks the part of a kind of an American strong ale, American barley wine. Um, but, you know, I I'm 43. I met my soulmate this uh, over the past two years. I love my job. 
Um, you know, doing beer stuff is fun. I have a lot of stuff to be grateful for, hence the gratitude portion of the show. That's the whole reason why I picked this one, because I am grateful. I have, there's a lot of gratitude to go around in my life, so I thought it'd be a little bit kind of poetic, kind of open this one on my birthday. So yeah, look at You can get a swirl, kind of generate that head. It looks damn fine. Let's get a nose. Yeah, that's rich caramel, a little bit of soft, spicy hops, a little bit of hops of ghost or a ghost of hops past, if you will. Yeah, just, uh, it's it's not a huge nose. What did I say? Did I say the ABV? It's 11% alcohol by volume. There's a nice sweetness to it, soft caramel vibes, a little bit of, like, marzipan-y vibes, um, a little bit of, like, spicy kind of creme brulee kind of things, like kind of a charriness to the sugar. So the brown sugar is a little bit elevated beyond just regular brown sugar. But it's not super sweet either. It, it, it gives you those notes while at the same time it has a softness to it, a refineness to it. So it's actually a relatively gentle nose for how big this beer is. Yeah, it smells nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that mouth feels epic. Super soft, sultry, super sexy kind of creaminess to it. It's got that nice burnt charred kind of creme brulee, burnt brown sugar kind of quality to it. Definitely getting those kind of ghosts of hop past. It's a very herbal, very tea-like kind of spicy hoppiness in there. But it's not, it's almost like, and this is very kind of subtle, kind of partly cloudy, partly sunny kind of thing. There's like a really low hopped American barley wines and there's English barley wines with a little bit too much hops. That's the way this one kind of comes. Like I said, pulling off the cap, I can just see it has this kind of rust metallic kind of thing going on on the inside of the cap. You guys are probably not going to be able to see that. Um, but that kind of, you usually get that kind of oxidative kind of rustiness when the beer is old. When you're actually getting kind of age on it and you get those kind of combination of, of of the fluids reacting with the cap and all that stuff it adds that little bit of bits and pieces on there so that's kind of an indicator of how old it is but i don't think it's that old so i do think it's a 2016 version only about two and change years old i think this comes out in the winter time so it's just a skosh over two years old i believe uh and it shows that way uh it, you know the the sweetness that caramel portion of the show is nice but it's not super deep not super rich you're not getting into that uh, soy sauce, umami kind of thing, nor are you getting into the raisinetti bit of the show. It's more like that sweetened kind of creme brulee kind of uh, uh, burnt brown sugar kind of vibe. Just damn tasty in its own right. Um, but you're still getting those hops too. Uh, again, like they come off very herbal, herbal very tea-like, very tannic-like. So it's adding a bit of spiciness while at the same time adding a little bit of kind of that dry kind of tannic thing you usually get from oak, but you're getting it more from kind of the hops. And just one of the best mouthfeels you're going to get out of like a, an American born barley wine. It's super creamy. It's not heavy, but it's dense enough to where you enjoy it. It's got the super creaminess that is just above like your doppel box in a world. It, it kind of brings that kind of level of creaminess to it, but in a more drinkable package, it's a super tasty beer. You know, it's only going to get better with age. Uh, so, you know, me opening it now, is that the best time, the best time and place to open it? Best time, yes. Uh, no. Best place, yes. I wanted to open it. You know, the name kind of spoke to me, so I'm just like, okay, kind of makes sense to open it today. Plus, I just got it, and this dude just can't hold on to beer, apparently. Um, but in a perfect world, I would let this sit. I would let this sit another three, four, five, six, ten years. In a perfect world, I'd like to see this at five years, five to eight years. But it's drinking quite nice now. So, I mean, if you do have access to these and you have access to multiples, this is one of those beers you'd want to buy. Drink one fresh, drink one at two, drink one at five, drink one at ten years. It's 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 one of those beers. Being that there is nothing beyond the core four going on in this beer, I assume, like I said, wax color usually denotes you know, added adjuncts or any of that stuff. I don't believe any of that this is going on in this beer. I believe it's a core four beer. It's probably going to age with the best of them. And it does age with the best of them. I've had very aged ones of these. And it, up there with the Thomas Hardys, the J.W. Lees, the old North Coast Old Stocks of the World, it's up there as far as one of the better ageable barley wines that you can actually get your hands on. So, anyway, 
Um, back to the beer itself. Just, I mean, what else is it to say? Nice, rich, burnt brown sugar caramel kind of vibes. That's going to morph into kind of more of that raisinetti richness uh, over time. Maybe give you a little bit of those kind of umami vibes on top of a epic mouthfeel. And a super tight and tidy package. I'm a fan. Let's uh, talk about it. It's one of the better American barley wines that I've had as of late. Yes, um, absolutely. Definitely towards the top. It had a little bit more time in it, probably getting even closer to the top. But as it sits now with that two and change years on it, it's uh, pretty damn good stuff. Valued availability? I actually don't know. Uh, so somebody out there in Pittsburgh land wants to let me know what's what. That would be awesome. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like good beer. I'm just going to say that. I mean, obviously, you like barley wine, you like that. No, no, if you like good beer, because this is good beer. And it's kind of one of those kind of snooty things that I say every now and then, in that if you don't like this, if you're new to beer and hazies are your game, and if you don't like this, it's not that you don't like it, you just don't like it yet. So you'll eventually, once you get deep enough in the beer, if you choose to do so, you'll dig this eventually. So there you go. Another review in the books. Birthday review for this dude. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the double take on the whole live portion of the show. I wanted to do it live. It would have been funner, but what are you going to do? And uh, there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Down there if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive, if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little aged barley wine right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>